This is a demonstration video for replacing the cartridge in a PicoSpin 80. If you're replacing the cartridge, you'll have bought in a new one, which will look something like this. It's safely stored in a plastic bag and you should leave it there until you want to use it. You can see it in the plastic bag there now. It also comes with a long Allen key and a custom tool, which is basically a screw that fits into a slot and allows you to pull the old cartridge back out. So here are those two tools, the custom tool and the long Allen key. The first thing to do is remove those four uh, screws. They are finger tight, so you can take them out by hand. Before you do that though, the really first thing to do is just make sure that the area around is clean, that you've cleaned the front of the NM war machine. The stains don't really matter, but you don't want things getting in on top of the magnet. So it's important to work in a dust-free environment and keep it all clean. Again, it's important to do this quickly so that you're not having dust flow in and out. Once you've done that then, you can remove this. It may be stuck a bit in place, so it may take a small amount of force, but it shouldn't take too much force. If it takes too much force, then just check that all the screws are uh, out and that it's not glued in place by some kind of dirt. So if we have a look inside, you can see where the old cartridge is and that cartridge is gonna come out. So there's two screws on the left and right inside little white plastic retainers. They're Allen key screws and this is where the long, handle, long handled Allen key comes in. So pop it in and we're gonna loosen both of them before we actually remove them. The screws can't come out of the retainer, so don't worry about loosening them too far or losing them inside the machine. It's well designed so that you're not going to lose, lose them. So we loosen one and then loosen the other. And you can tell that there's a nice positive fit there. The Allen key fits in the, in the screws quite well. So once you have it loosened up a little bit, you can just work sequentially back and forth to loosen them. Uh, just you can spin it around. You can see here from the other angle, it takes a little bit of force to move the first quarter turn or maybe even whole turn and after that then there's very little force on it but you want to sequentially move one side and the other so that you don't jam one against the other at least that's the advice in the manual once you have that done you can put in the little uh, custom tool screw thing and pull out the insert so or pull out the cartridge so we'll have a look at that now this is the the insert and you can just slot it in screws in like a normal screw and then if we change the angle you can see it coming back out just and there's a bit of a click when it comes out not very much just about noticeable so you can see here when I take it out it just kind of pops out the first little bit and then you support the front part and you can pull it all out nice and carefully it's fairly light it's very easy to do and then we're just going to reverse that to put the new cartridge in so take out the screw put that to one side unwrap the new cartridge and then reverse the whole process so you see I'm only unwrapping it now, uh, sped this up a little bit. You want to keep that clean, so don't unwrap it until you need it, and then pretty much straight away put it into the machine. So I've put in the screw attachment, and now I'm going to slot it in. And there's a nice positive click at the end of it, so just line it up, look along, slot it in, and it will click into place. So if we have a look at the inside view, you can see left and right there's the two screw holes, and the slot in the center is where you're actually going to fit the circuit board. And you just carefully put it in there. When it reaches the end, there's one last little click and it'll feel positively engaged in place. So once you've got that in, take out the screw, just gently unscrews, and then you wanna tighten up the two bolts on the left and the right. The trick to this is to engage them first, tighten them up a little bit on each side, and then work your way back across and back between the two of them so that you tighten it up evenly and you don't pull the cartridge to one side. So you can see me doing this, just sped it up a little bit, tighten it in left and right. Once you're done with that, put the faceplate back on and put in the four finger screws and then you're finished. Again, when you're putting the finger screws in, just be a little bit careful not to cross the threads. And you can see I put them in not too tight uh, on all four positions and then I follow them around, tightening the opposite ones just to make sure that it's nice and not too stressed out, nice and evenly balanced. All right, that's all. Thanks for listening.